can rock. You this. ready? Yeah, I'll make it up. All right. Me. Okay, Andrew. Yes, sir. Um, you sell Rocketer. Yep. I don't know if people know you've sold it. Yes. Now you are now been appointed uh, CEO, president, no more co-CEOs of Research in Motion. Gotcha. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> return to the strengths. So similar to, I guess, how Steve Jobs came back to Apple and, and just cut, cut, cut down to the very core. Mm-hmm. You know, RIM, believe it or not, was is not a hardware company at its heart. Yeah. It is not a uh, form factor company at its heart. It mm-hmm. does amazing data encryption and data transfer mm-hmm. services. Um, and that is what's keeping it in business right now. And I would say that you, I would look to leverage that core strength in as many ways as possible. So if I need to, you know, there, I think they're going to continue to invest, obviously, in hardware. Yeah. And so I do think that those investments should be scaled down. I don't think I should, be, I don't think I would be building you know, uh, half a dozen to a dozen different form factors. I think I would probably pick two form factors and trim mm-hmm. down to that until I've really nailed my hardware competency. Should they um, get rid of the playbook or that form factor of the tablet? Well, it's interesting. I mean, I think that there's a BBX, they call it now, the, the, new, Q, yeah. the, the QNX platform there. Um, you know, that tablet, don't don't be mistaken, there's, there's plenty of conversations outside of these walls in the enterprise right now that are about banning iPads from from the workplace, right? Wow. Yeah, there there are. I mean, just based on the the security risks that posed by that, uh, which RIM addresses incredibly well. So, you know, keep the playbook in market, Mm -hmm. uh, maybe trim the mobile phone, I would say invest in in, in one mobile phone Mm -hmm. um, and, and, you know, work on your hardware competency over here. Um, But yeah, I mean, it seems funny to me that they're not mentioned in the same space as like an Amazon when it comes to uh, just servers and data processing and things like that and, and that sort of game. You know, it doesn't. It seems like that would be right up Rim's alley in terms of what they're able to provide um, in terms of the way of infrastructure. I would say how can you provide that infrastructure hmm. to, to, you know, software companies trying to sell into the enterprise? Uh, you know, what ways can you sort of invest in those younger coming up software companies and helping them sell to you know, bigger company X Y Z or whatever it is. Interesting, yeah. Because uh, a lot of people would know Rim mm-hmm. through uh, the device. Yep. Um, and you're saying it's 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 the technology within that device that is Rim's strength. Focus on that, uh, yep. and then that will allow you to expand beyond just consumer devices. Right. I mean that same that same security. Um, infrastructure that goes back and forth between the two BlackBerry devices is also what allows something like BBM to exist, right? Mm-hmm. So if you can extend it in ways that are more consumer consumerized, fantastic. But you know, don't 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 stop looking for ways to extend the core competency, which is really that ability to encrypt and process data. Fantastic, yeah. thank you. You've just heard from the new CEO of Research in Motion, Andrew Peak. Thank you. Awesome. Hey Thank man. you so much for your time, buddy. No problem. Appreciate it. No, likewise. Mr. Royale. How are you doing, man?